My people, wonder shall never end. You see, eh, the, the way these people are fighting KBC front and back, all corners these days, eh, they think too much. Oh. It is indeed very too much. But I do know that God is going to save him. God will be with him. He is going to conquer. At the end of this whole story, KBC will be victorious because I believe that God is with him. Irrespective of who is fighting him, the gang up and everything, the God of Penomi and Prester Denikawa will not let him down. Anyway, guys, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell. Always remember, they are all alleged information. According to the information reaching us right now, alleged, they said, two elders from Blue Blue family. You do know that Blue Blue comes from one of the ruling families in Ife. They said two elders from her family have decided to strike. They have decided to attack KBAC again. You know, because I, why I said again is because they have been attacking her left and right, front and back. You know, first they sent their daughter to go and steal his uh, protective charm. And uh, after taking away that protective charm from him, they started uh, manipulating him, sending a whole lot of things into him and all of that. But God will always be God. And I believe that God of Queen Naomi will not let Kabiye sit down. So this time around, they said uh, in Kabiye's family, the, from the Gusi ruling family, where he comes from, that uh, they don't eat black cow. Not only that they don't eat black cow, they said they can go as far as buying cow that is not black, bring it into the palace and make sure that they slaughter it there. And that is how they eat their meat. That even the wives of KBAC or anyone that is related to KBAC for any reason cannot eat black cow. So even if the wives are eating it, the moment they go married to KBAC, they no longer eat black cow because it is a taboo in their land, in their family, you know. And not only that, they said, even uh, Prince Tade Nikawo, in as much as he is not in that palace, the KBSC is making provisions for the meat that is being used in that Akure for the sake of Tade Nikawo. That he makes it as point of duty to ensure that uh, he buy goats or cow for them once in a while, just to ensure that they have meat in stock such that they will not go and use and maybe go to the market to buy meat because you know that when I go, when they go to the market to buy meat you don't know the particular meat that is a uh, that is slaughtered for selling you know and for that reason they don't go to the market to buy meat and another thing that they forbid is by eating meat that uh, you don't know maybe when they kill the meat the meat did not produce blood and on all of that so they don't eat such meat you know, and that is why they said they slaughtered their own meat right there in the palace. So black goat is forbidden in the family where he comes from. That even the other ruling classes know about it, you know, and they know that it is a taboo to bring it to him. And again, now that he is a king, if you bring in, if you allow the cow, a black cow to come into the palace alive, <laughs> It is also a very big problem that it is going to cause him a very much problem more than the ones we have been hearing so far. So now, KBSC have insisted that uh, the marriage between him and uh, Auntie Blow Blow and uh, Mariam must be dissolved. In as much as the wives are fighting to ensure that that did not happen, but they say KBSC is not uh, stopping, you know, by saying that that he is still serious about it. And with the fact that the women, the two of them, cannot come into the palace and feel relaxed right now for what we are hearing, they said the family of uh, Auntie Blue Blue decided to come and beg KBAC, you know. And why coming to beg KBAC? They know that KBAC is a great king, a, 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 a lion on himself, a great lion on, uh, as in. So he deserves at least a cow for to go and beg him with, you know. So instead of them to go and buy buy a better cow, maybe a brown or uh, white or cow that is mixed and all of that, they decided to buy a very black cow. So, but before this cow comes, before this incidence of cow, don't forget they say Iyami 
have been in the palace. There have been revelations and revelations and revelations. See, eh, those people who have the privilege of having revelations or having people who tell them that this is what this is, this, this is what these people are planning or this is that, they are lucky. Because most people like that, they don't fall into, they don't fall victims anyhow if they are careful. They only fall victim if they are not careful because it is revealed to them earlier. So because there have been revelation over this uh, incident, they said uh, KBSC have won the people, uh, especially the guards. Of course, guards, they say they go through orientation the moment they come into the palace to work for the palace. So when Auntie Blow Blow's family were coming with this cow, they sent the first of all sent a, a pickup to carry the cow into the palace first before they will come. So the, when the guard in front of the gate saw the pickup coming into the palace with a black cow, they said the guy was shocked. He knows that this, whoever that is sending this cow is up to something. So he stopped them at the gate. He stopped the pickup at the gate. Uh, and when these people, when he was busy asking the person who sent you, where are you coming from? Why do you want to enter the gate with a black cow? This and that. They said, they told him that it was from Auntie Blow Blow. You know, the guy was shocked because he knows very well that Auntie Blow Blow is a wife to the palace and already know that black cow cannot enter the palace, let alone Kabiesi eating it because they say it's a gift to Kabiesi. That They said the, uh, 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 the guard was surprised. Such that he called Auntie Blue Blue and their people. They told him that it is nothing, that he can allow it inside, that it doesn't mean anything, this and that. The guard, they said he did not allow, all. he has to call Kabiesi. To, he has to call someone that will call Kabiesi, tell Kabiesi, look at what is happening at the gate to see this and this and that. Because they say Kabiesi is not around. Kabiesi has gone on his uh, uh, duties. He is not always in the palace. He has a lot of things to do. He's a businessman, serious one at that. So if he is not in this estate, he is there, he's that and all of that. So when the call started coming in, calling people, calling uh, Kabiesi, calling Kabiesi's family to inquire, and they said, these people, the elders, when they came, they were persuading the, the security guards. Because at this point, the other security have to come closer, you know, in case if they try to force the cow inside. They were telling them that it is nothing, that they were making effort. The two elders were making effort to ensure that that cow enters that palace. And they said, if the cow enters the palace, it is going to cause KBC. Serious problem. Serious problem that this uh, economic return will be a minor thing compared to what that thing will cost him. And that was how they said they dragged it and dragged it. But at the end of the day, uh, they said the cow did not enter the palace. So when KBC returned, he was so furious. Had it been the others who were present, he would have used something to hit their head. But all they did, from what we heard, they said the two of them... Happens to be one of the uh, happens to be among the council of the elders, and the secretary suspended them, knowing that they are his worst enemy. Because huh, information have it that if if this cow have entered the palace, it would have been a doom on KBAC and his throne. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. I wasn't there when it was happening. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Share my video and give my video a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.